Hey everybody, hi! It's Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. That's my blog. You guys, I know it's blasphemy to compare myself to the Lord Jesus, but it feels like there's been an ascension and I'm back from the dead. <laughs> Y'all, I have been sick. It's been a minute since I visited with you guys and I had a little bit of a stuffy nose on December 12th. And I think I made one chat video since then. And then, of course, we had the holidays and everything. And I did just put out the one where I said embroider with me and I showed you how I made my granddaughter's reading pillow. I'll link to that right up here. But I just, I don't know. It, it was a head cold and it had started with allergies. And I don't have allergies, but there was just so much uh, molds and cedar, mountain cedar in the air. And I'm still not 100%. I can, I can hear it. My ears are still a little bit clogged. My husband has it now. He is in the, the throes of the head cold. Mine was so bad, I had to go to the doctor and get a shot of steroids. And I just had the most croupy, awful cough. It was bad. I mean, I've had this channel now for four years, and I don't think I've been sick, but maybe once, and that was short-lived, I think. I don't even remember. And then we had gone over to his buddy's house, our friends. We had gone over to our friend's house a couple days ago. Now his buddy has it. Those two were in a truck together, driving to go pick up his friend's truck from a detailer, and just that close quarters for about 20 minutes was enough for him to pass it. So, of course, it's my fault, right? That's how that works. <laughs> but I just, it's one of those things where you don't have any energy and I couldn't breathe. And oh my goodness, it was awful. Terrible. But, whoo, Lord have mercy. That was a bad one. But I thought I would pop in and tell you what I've been doing. It has not stopped me from sewing, as you can tell. Look at all of that. So I did do the January Kimberbell Cuties Table Topper. Let me, let me lift this up so you can see. See that? Let me zoom in so you can see that. Super, super cute. A lot of fun. One of you complained you didn't like that I was doing it not the exact same way as the book. So I will do the same way as the book for February, okay? You guys, what it is is I just, not enough hours in the day and I just like to do things super efficiently. So if I can do two at a time, two blocks at a time, I will. For those of you that are brand new, then the February one, you know, brand new to machine embroidery, the February one, the very first block I'll do baby step by baby step in the in the hoop and you know single a single one and we'll do we'll do it the slow way okay and then everything after that I'll either do two at a time or I'm jumping over to the multi needle I've got my kit here for the February cuties topper I'll link to this below and it's got all of the fabric and the embellishments and everything that you need for the February topper. So you can get that if you want, or you can just get the design and use your own fabrics. That's always a way to do it too. Hey, and the same goes for that Perfectly Pieced, which is that monthly subscription from Me Time. Y'all, I had called it Me Time Delivered. That's the name of the website because it is a delivered subscription, but it's only called Me Time. I was corrected. <laughs> it's fine. I've got the one coming up for the January box, and you guys, oh my goodness, it is so cute. This is for you embroiderers. So we have, you know, the Fat Quarter has like the Sew Sampler box for you quilters out there, and this one is so cute. We're gonna look at this in a minute. But this perfectly piece, this is for machine embroiderers and you're piecing in the hoop is what you're doing. So they also have this where you can either just get the digital subscription where you're gonna get uh, your instructions and your design files and you can use all of your own goodies 
or you can get the kit too. And then this will come to your door and it's a subscription. But I gotta show you guys what's in here. Oh my goodness. We got some more clear blue tiles in the sizes that you would need in order to background quilt this if you want to do that. And I did go ahead and get the background quilting designs from Kimberbell. I purchased those. I just sucked it up, I know. <laughs> I'll link to those below too. But it gives you a card that tells you all of the stabilizers that you need. And this is your fabric key to tell you the fabrics that come in the box. And you guys, the fabrics are just precious. Absolutely adorable. I'm gonna open this up and let you see. It is so incredibly cute. After sewing each block, play with tumble configurations before deciding on the final pattern. So look at these, y'all. We have a beautiful floral. You can see all of these and stare at them forever on their website. I'll link to it below, okay? A really pretty solid. This is just sweet. And we've got a light tan. And this is probably the backing because it's a gingham, but there's a bunch of it, okay? So I think that's probably the backing and some little triangles on a soft pink and we've got another solid and we have one that looks like a weave it's a light brown light tan with a weave and then we have another brown so these all coordinate together to make an adorable little envelope pattern so here's the envelope pattern that it makes and they tell you step by step how to make it right there. That's what the block layout's going to look like. They give you the background quilting, what goes where on the background quilting. And I'm going to make probably the four block project where it's a really cute little table runner table topper and then or they've got an idea for a pillow back here on the back that you can do as well or there is a tablet sleeve project they've got right here so your projects vary based on the number of blocks that you make with all the fabric that you got so it's really cool. You can completely customize your project based on however many blocks you feel like making. But when you're piecing in the hoop, you cannot mess it up at all. It's just amazing how they do that. And in each step, I have gotten extremely familiar with uh, playing with Kimberbell Designs recently because I am doing the collectible Christmas I wasn't planning on it, but everything is just so incredibly cute. And the more I play with it, this is the candy shop. And I've got, let me show you what I've done so far with this. Here's the church. This was the first block that we did, block, first project, first little building. I'll show you my little church. Didn't it come out just as cute as can be? And these windows, look, they have mylar in them. Can you see them shine? but they are made with like um they call them call it chiffon it's like an organza or it's like what you wear over a prom skirt i guess in the back and so when you put it all together you can actually put a little um one of those little battery operated tea lights in here and it'll glow from inside so cool but here are the first two walls of the candy shop so i got those first two hoopings done on that and you guys, this has been wonderful while I've been under the weather to just sit and mindlessly go through and do these things. Now, there's some steps in here that I had never done before. So it's also been a challenge for me to exercise my embroidery muscles, and I've really enjoyed it. Now, to store all of these, I bought a, not an ornament holder, but they call it a figurine holder. I got it on Amazon, and I'll link to this below too. And it's got big areas in it, and you can change the size of them with Velcro, you know, moving them all around. But I wanted something that was tall enough that I could fit my figurines in here. So in the end, this will hold my whole Christmas village from Collectible Christmas, from me time, M-E time, that's machine embroidery time. 
So it's really cool. I've been uh, I've been staying pretty busy with this. I'm not doing a sew along for these because this is one of those once you get started you can't stop kind of things. But uh, when you look at the the the, um, the instructions that you get, I'm telling you they're just so step by step easy on these you just cannot go wrong and what I really like about these that you don't see in a lot of embroidery designs is it'll have the the number of the step up in the upper corner but down below it'll have a machine and a number so like this one has the machine and the number four right there okay well that's the fourth stitch in the embroidery design so it's really easy for you to keep track because while there are steps that occur like this one that don't have a number below it for the embroidery machine, these down underneath go in order with the actual stitches that happen on the machine. They have the best instructions in the industry. And what I'm liking about this, oh, and it, the me time, perfectly pieced, one color thread, you get a beautiful, it's kind of like a buff color of uh, Glide. It's called First Kiss. <laughs> so cute. This is just going to be adorable. So um, I'm looking forward to putting this together. This is a really, really nice one. It also came with these little leather-like tags. They have little tags. Okay. And you can... Let me see, I want to show you, oh, they have it online where you can fold the tag in half and actually stitch this into your, your binding on the back or the front or whatever you want. So it's pretty cool. Very, very neat stuff. That's going to be a lot of fun to put all that together. Now for the sew sampler, this was the December box. I liked it. Very, very cool. You get a coupon on the back uh, of the paper that's inside, just like you always do with a promo code for a discount. And this is for a discount on some rotary blades. Who doesn't need that, right? So that's very cool. And it came with a little scissor charm like this. Very cute little scissor charm. It has a paper in it that tells you everything that came in here. These are great, you guys, to build your stash. This has Fisherman's Bend Charm Square. So there's two charm packs of here in here of Fisherman's Bend. See the little fish? Super cute. Just adorable. It has a magnetic pin holder, which is very cool. It says Fat Quarter Shop on it right there. And it's got a little compartment in the bottom if you wanted to put your needles down in that. So that's nice. It's heavy. It's very nice. And they have the Ulfa Magnet Touch blade. So this is a spring retractable, like a little exacto knife, kind of. Neat, huh? Handy, handy. Very handy. And look, it just kind of <laughs> stuck to that. <laughs> we have so sassy iron-on labels for quilts, sewing projects, and more. 80 designs. Look at this. This is great. I love this. Now they're backwards so that you can iron them to whatever you need to. And they're nice size. Look, isn't that great? Very, very cool. This is awesome. I love it. And then the quilt pattern that you get is called Trailblazer. And this is what you use your Fisherman's Bend charm packs for. Here's what it looks like. That's a it finishes at 54 and a half square. That's the trailblazer pattern. So you just have to add some background fabric to it and you are good to go. And then they are doing a bliss quilt along and you get the pattern for the bliss quilt along block number nine from Fig Tree and Company. So that's very cool. These little so sampler boxes are great to build up your stash if you're just starting or maybe you haven't gotten anything new in a while and it's time, right? Plus there's always the surprise of that. That's always a lot of fun. They released that the other day, so I figured I could go ahead and show you guys. Oh my goodness, y'all had the, I had the nicest mail call from you guys. I did get your Christmas cards. I got this one from Deidre. 
she sends me an old-fashioned Christmas with a hobby horse that was very pretty thank you and Sherry Sherry will be on the cruise with me Sherry lives in uh, Las Vegas and so she sent a Nevada Christmas and it goes through like the 12 days of Christmas, each one. And this bottom one down here, I just laughed. It was 12 Elvis impersonators gyrating. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that funny? Sherry, this made my day. It was so cute. Thank you. I enjoyed that. And I've got this one from my buddy, Katie. She sent me a nice one. Looks all cozy in the flannel. Love that. And then my friend Joy, my, my YouTube buddy Joy, she sent me a beautiful Christmas card from her and Jerry. So thank you all very much for those. That was so very nice. And uh, oh, and then Vicki. I got one from Vicki at Creative Notions too. She's very sweet. I like this one. It's kind of 3D. It has um, that barn on there and silo is 3D. Very pretty stuff. <sighs> so Christmas was very quiet around here. Uh, we stayed home. We were, I, yeah, we were both sick. So we just stayed home and hung out. And um, we don't really get each other gifts anymore, but we did get ourselves a gift. We got a new smart TV and surround sound system for the motorhome. So Keith installed that. Uh, we got a heck of a deal on it at Sam's. We were in there wandering around and found a floor model. Didn't have a box, you know, that kind of thing. And boy, it's great. So we're really excited to... The other TV was so heavy. Oh my goodness. And it was mounted directly to the wall. So I couldn't get an HDMI cable behind it. When we go somewhere and they had like crappy cable, which is frequent in these RV parks. And, I, you know, I... We ended up watching TV on my laptop screen, which is no good. And, uh, I mean, it's fine. But when you're watching a football game, you want, you know, big, right? So that was really nice to do that. And this new TV, boy, it doesn't weigh a thing. So Keith got one of those mounts that stretches out and turns and whatnot. Like, this, that TV. But, you know, we had to find one that still had the yellow and red jacks behind it for the audio because the the existing sound system that's in there in the coach it's a 2011 so it's got old outdated stuff but anyway it'll work but it, that's going to be uh, just fine with that hey we've got about a dozen seats left on that second cruise now we just went through a horrible cold snap the whole country did all right you guys, if you've been thinking about it and you're not sure, look, you can't take it with you. Come with me, get on the boat, bring your husband. Our husbands can hang out in the casino. <laughs> and uh, we're going to have a great time. I talked to the folks at uh, So and Sail Cruises this morning. There's an excursion for all of us that are attending on the first day. I think and uh, I'm gonna do that with everybody if you guys want to go I will be doing that one and but it's just for our group okay I'm not sure what it is they didn't tell me that and then I got to see the projects that we're gonna be making and I'll be teaching and they are some of them are just so cute bring something to sew okay so we've got you you've got open sew time that you can go in uh, when we're not in class and you can just sit down and work on something. So I'm going to bring, I'm going to work on this UFO. This so happy is like two years old. I started this when I was in my old sewing room. So I have a lot of it done. I'm probably an hour or two from being finished with it. So I'm going to take that with me and that's going to go. And then I started this one in 2022, this kit. It's just adorable. Spring Sampler Quilt Kit by Riley Blake. Okay, I'm gonna take this with me, I think, and work on this while I'm on the boat as well. So those are the two things I'm bringing with me. I'm also gonna be one-on-one -on -one teaching how I use the Scan and Cut to not one-on-one -on -one, but i mean i'll be teaching a class or can do demos how i use the scan and cut to scan in a paper applique pattern 
and I'll have my laptop there and then we will be doing the whole embroidery thing from the FCM file created by the Scan and Cut. And you guys, it doesn't matter what Scan and Cut you have, whether it's the SDX85. Oh, and somebody won that and she's collected it and she probably already has it from the giveaway that we did. Uh, my last quilt chat gave away that SDX from amysews.com. But anyway, I'm going to be demoing how to do that. And I, you guys can stand right next to me and see how it's done. So there's another reason you might want to come on the cruise because that's going to be really interesting to see exactly how that's done slow, step by step. And I will show you. So that's going to be pretty cool. Got some new fabric. I mean, I've got a list. Let me make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Y'all, I was planning, we were planning, Keith and I both were planning on going to New Orleans for New Year's because K-State is playing in the Sugar Bowl and my husband's a big K-State fan because I've told you guys he's from Manhattan, Kansas. Well, then we got sick and I was supposed to go and do a meet and greet at Mesa Mies uh, quilt shop there. I really wanted to go and I feel terrible y'all, but Keith's like, I can't drive. I just can't drive this. And I don't blame him. He's feeling horrible. Plus he had a little minor surgery back on the 12th. Was that the, yeah, it was the 12th because it was really rainy that day and I was out in it without, it wasn't cold or was it cold? I can't remember. It's when I got sick. But uh, he had some minor surgery then, so, you know, the kind where you got to sit on a donut. Hmm? So he's still recovering from that. So he was like, no, nah, I can't make the trip. But anyway, so I'm really sorry. I wanted to go to New Orleans. I got my binding done on the Falala -la quilt. I'll put a picture of it right here. I had done that quilt. It was a sew along we did together, maybe in 2020. 2021? No, it was 2020. I was in the old sewing room and I uh, never did put a binding on it, but I picked up the binding. I really liked it at the Mesquite Bean Quilt Shop over in uh, San Antonio over off Austin Highway. They're having a big sale today and tomorrow, and I meant to get there today, but I don't have the energy to drive into town, you guys. Oh, just not up to it. So, okay. Villa Rosa Designs had some adorable fabric uh, come out. Now, this has been around a while. This is called, guess how much I love you, but it's a new versioning of it. So it's another one of those panels that they've got. Let's see, it's upside down for y'all. Okay, so guess how much I love you. And it has pink and blue panels in it but this has pink in between soft pink soft blue i love you all the way to your toes guess how much i love you let's snuggle it's all, just some adorable rabbits okay so there's that and they also had so that's the pink colorway i got this to make baby quilts because you know i love making baby quilts I got it in the blue colorway as well, okay? This is a perfect project. If you've got twins on the way, boy, girl, twins, ah, love it. Perfect project, okay. So, or you know, if you've got somebody who's got two little infants, anyway, okay. So then I picked up all the coordinating fabrics that go with it. So in the pink, we have a very soft pink on pink. Okay, and here's the blue on blue. I guess I got two of these. Did, did they come in two? What did I get here? I got another, maybe one of those is for a binding, okay? And here is a soft pink on cream and I just got a little bit of the entire line, you guys. We have little hearts there. Here is tossed bunnies with words. This is a really soft, kind of a green gray sage look on cream. And that coordinates with tossed bunnies in moons. So stinking cute, you guys. Oh my goodness, look at this. 
just adorable. I was going to use the Crab Cakes. Uh, that's a new pattern that's out by Villarosa Design called Crab Cakes. Okay, this is a directional fabric of bunnies. And then I got the exact same thing in the blue colorway. These are just fat quarters is what I got. So I got one for a boy and one for a girl. Pink and blue. Precious, just precious. Oh my goodness. So if I need a baby quilt, I'm good now. You guys have been sending me the nicest emails. I want to thank you guys so much. That really made my Christmas season to hear from all of you like I have. I've gotten letters. I gotten letters in the mail. I get emails all the time. Um, lots of love shown in our Facebook group. If you have a, uh, requested to be a member of our Facebook group, and you didn't get accepted, make sure you answer the questions, okay? Because there are questions you need to answer. Even if you only answer one, at least we know you're not a bot. But we don't approve anybody who doesn't answer the questions, okay? You've got to do that. You know, I, one of the nicest ones that stuck out to me was a lady told me she got a brand new machine and as soon as it arrived, because she's been watching my videos, she already knew how to use it. Do you know how nice that is? How good that makes me feel? Like you guys are actually paying attention when I go click here, click here, touch this, touch that. <laughs> this is why you do this. This is why you do that. So I got an email today from Kathy who told me she's going to buy the Canique uh, long arm system setup that I have. She was looking at some other machines and we were emailing back and forth about what to get and whatnot. Congratulations on your new machine. I think that's wonderful with a frame, the whole nine yards, right? Uh, and then, um, you know, I got another one. A, a lady emailed me and said that uh, she recently inherited her mom's four month old embroidery machine and um, she's using it now. And I said, well, I'm sure your mom is helping you all along the way. Uh, her mom had passed, you know, and she got the machine. And so I, I just think that's wonderful that we can connect with uh, people that we miss just by sitting down at our sewing machines. I think that's a wonderful thing. So it's a nice way to feel close to somebody. Oh, so you ever feel like you're sitting in a forest? all by yourself <laughs> look at that you guys are probably going what are those trees behind you becky y'all i don't know so i was sitting on youtube just surfing watching videos like you guys do and i came across lori holt making plaid pines and at first i was thinking there is no way. I hate sewing triangles. I hate sewing circles and I hate sewing triangles. And she created the pattern in such a way that there's enough extra all the way around the tree for you to be able to not have to be exactly perfect, which is wonderful. So there are 64 little trees. That's those guys. They're all done. And then there are 32 big trees in this thing and they're done oh no they're not done that's the next thing i have to do and i've told you guys how i like to do mindless sewing right i get up in the morning and it's just me and my coffee cup and i just sit there and <laughs> when my brain's not working and it's really easy just to get a bunch of stuff done i set the old watch for 20 minutes and just sew and that's how i finished all of these and it uh, it is a good bunch of mindless sewing because it's the exact same thing over and over and over and over. But that is quilting, is it not? So this thing finishes at 72 and a half by 80. That's a good sized quilt. I, I don't know. I guess I just did it to prove that I could. I don't know. And I even got, it comes, it has this ruler. Let me put it up here so you guys can see it on my notes. Okay. So, matter of fact, I'll put a clip right here of me when I got all the stuff. I don't think I told you guys I was going to make plaid pines. I can't remember. I watched Lori Holt do a how-to video on how to make these trees on YouTube the other day. And these trees are for her new pattern called plaid pines. 
show you that there. This is just so cute. Oh my goodness. I went to the Fat Quarter shop to get a kit and they didn't have any. But what I did was I looked on the back of the pattern and it tells you everything that you need on the back of the pattern. And so I just ordered that individually and I got the tall triangle ruler that came in and then the B plaids 10 inch square stacker so I got that and all of the background fabrics they've got them bundled in here there's all different colors in here you can see there's a there I see the blue the brown the yellow I think there's a green I don't know and then this is the tree trunks and I think this is the binding so I didn't say it in a video the other day but I want to let you guys know before I dig into this that I'm going to spend some time putting together these plaid pines and you will start to see them up on the design board behind me in my videos and I'm just going to slowly but surely work on a couple of trees each day. I've got the 64 little trees done and they are sewn together in their pairs. And the only thing you really had to pay attention to was if you had a yellow block, you didn't want to use yellow stars behind it, okay? And if you had gray stars in your background, you wanted gray stars in your background on your trunk. And then when you're sewing your pairs together, that nothing matches. So this one's red tree, blue back blue star background and this one's yellow tree gray star background so that's all you really kind of have to pay attention to as far as colors and uh, got that so that's cool so I've been busy even though I've been sick I've been busy you know just kind of nothing to do Keith sits in there and watches TV all day and I just cannot do that I mean I'll watch YouTube but there's a few programs that I look at but not many so I just, uh, just, you know, come in here and just fiddle fart around, <laughs> just fiddling. But I was real happy to get my, my little church done. I thought that turned out really cute. So I'm inspired to go on. It's going to, it's going to be pretty nice. So I might go ahead and video me making the perfectly pieced box for January and show how that's done. But there are videos on Kimberbell's website, to, not Kimberbell, me, me time, me time. There are videos out there of how to do all this too. So I don't want to beat a dead horse, but anyway. All right, you guys, thank you so much for sticking around. Please give me a thumbs up. That helps the channel a whole lot. And uh, come join me on that cruise, okay? Let's go hang out in the sunshine, the warmth, and the sand. All right. We'll talk to you soon. You guys go sew something. Bye.